Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. And now it's time to clean up this mess good made here. Yes, the, the mess I made. <laughs> the, the massive <laughs> mess. I'm good. I had all the blocks okay. I needed to finish the stand build, and I gave them to the world. And all those deaths. Oh, did you give all the... The... Smooth stone... Pretty much, yeah. I had it all on my body and just all that death. <laughs> oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm starting at the bottom layer and lighting this thing or unlighting this, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, okay. I'm currently. I that... So I just started doing. I'm putting the roof on the top right now. I mean, if we can make this thing God, bigger, hope. but we probably don't even have to, honestly. Oh, pro pro I mean, judging by how many mobs, <laughs> it seems like there's a decent number. The, uh, the only room. thing I'm concerned with is the spiders. Why so? Because they're not going to like necessarily fall down the kill room shaft, right? Are they not? Like, they most certainly won't. Won't they grab the wall? I don't know. I, th I feel like the other mobs will force them to drop. They might. So it might be okay. Um, what was I going to say? The room that we kill them in should be made out of obsidian. Yes. Right now, it's just low enough for them... So what I wanted to do is I wanted to be low enough for just them to die. Okay. Um, but then, but at the same time, I want to be able to put in a layer like on a button hit or trap doors or something, where you can stop them at a place that should take them down to like one or two hits, so we can <clears throat> collect XP when we need to. Well, couldn't the kill room be on pistons? So like the when the pistons are off, they die. You turn on on the pistons extend one and then they they go to half a heart. So yes and no. The problem with that is that assumes that every mob will be down to the exact same amount of hearts based on a certain number of falls. But with armor and stuff that they spawn in with now, it won't be. So we'd have to do you'd have to have like an extra ten blocks for them to just like automatically make sure they die. And then you know, 10 blocks above that, you'd have to have pistons that extend out and create a floor that becomes a kill room. It's not going to be like a one block difference. Okay. But I don't know, do trap doors... Do, will they land on a trap door if we open it? Can we just have it, like, closed on the side and then when we want to kill them, we just open up trap doors? I honestly don't know. I don't know either. I was trying to think about this the other day on what the best way is to make a a room like this. Marcus would hate this build. <laughs> Why? Because it's like uh, the way I'm finishing this up here is I just whatever blocks I have in my inventory. So it's some cobbles. That's how the whole thing is. That's, that's yeah. how the whole thing is done. You should add his elytra on a frame. Be <laughs> uh, <laughs> like you want it back. This is the the trials and tribulations of the elytra. <laughs> put it, put it at the at the end of where the mobs go before they die. Yep, just on a frame in the wall, encased in obsidian. That would be pretty funny. I kind of want to do that, like not kill him. Just send him <laughs> to a room where his elytra is, is in a chest, uh, encased in obsidian. <laughs> Without any tools, and he'll be like, what the hell? So he'll start punching the obsidian with his hand for like 65 days or whatever it is, <laughs> and then make it time to all of a sudden mobs start coming out of nowhere. <laughs> uh... <laughs> this this did that give me flashbacks be... to that stupid fucking mob farm you put in my house. 
<laughs> well, it was it's been designed based on that. Yeah, and I'll tell you after watching that video back when I was looking to make sure that this was right. That was like nostalgia at its finest. I died so many times down there trying to get it lit up. <laughs> And it was just one path. Like, it wasn't as crazy as this damn thing. Uh, yeah, it was just one layer. It was a bigger layer, but it wasn't... Uh, yeah, it was only one layer. Some people were so mad, though. About me breaking the rules. <laughs> How did you break the rules? Because a creeper blew up. Like, that first thing that happened was blowing up, which was not the end. I, what I wanted to happen. Right. But, um, and they started destroying your base. And I, I knew that some creepers would, like, get up there in the mix and break. I guess I just didn't. Like, I miscalculated how much damage they would do so quickly. Because <laughs> they, like, immediately just, <laughs> boom! <laughs> but your reaction of coming around the corner it was priceless. You're like, did you guys see that? <laughs> Oh, are there mobs in my house? Then he looked around the corner and you're like, this is not natural. This is not natural. <laughs> uh, you got that layer, okay. Yeah, that's the layer I just built. Or no, no, it's not. So that's, <laughs> that's all the layers. <laughs> Alright, so where do we go? Uh, so... Let me close these off so we can <sighs> see. I want to make sure that they're actually falling, and that's like the problem is I didn't make anything out of glass. Yeah, we probably should have put some glass down there real quick. Here we go again. But, I mean, <laughs> well, no, 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 we can do the glass room. I'm, I'm assuming they're making it over there. They will come down to, if you go down the ladder, to, there was a level that had a... A workbench on it. I'm gonna throw and some glass down there actually... real quick. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, you don't have to throw the glass from that perspective. You can see the the drop chamber. Yeah, here's the drop chamber. I should do do that. Where are you throwing glass at? Oh, on the I know where you're throwing glass at. Where the problems all began. Well, the problem is I don't see the mobs coming through the drop chamber. Uh... And I'm concerned as to why. I hear them. Oh, here they come. I mean, a skeleton made it, so I think this is working. Uh... And this is where we need the glass, and we can easily make this drop chamber like you know, a lot of glass. So we can encase this whole thing in glass and watch them all fall to their deaths. Like I'm watching at the very bottom right now, where they come out at. There's nothing landing here. All right, there was the first skeleton. Yeah, that was a, a, uh, a zombie. Oh, coming down into where they they come down initially. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the question. I don't know the efficiency of this. I don't know where we should stand to maximize efficiency. Because I'm probably too close right now. But I really have no idea. Is there not that much coming down? Not really. A skeleton For as many came. mobs as we had attacking us. That seems sad. There goes a creeper. I'm gonna go make some glass for her. for this thing. Do we have any glass around? Probably not. Yeah, we do. It's in some chest. Oh, okay, just some chest. I hear some. Oh God. Man, how cold is it for you right now, where you live? It's uh, 12. Oh, well, you're actually colder than we are. Really? We're, we're between 15 and 18. Um, That's what it was here in this DC. Morning, when I went actually. to Michigan, yeah, when I went to Michigan, it was negative two, and I thought oh, that was God. I thought that the thermometer was wrong, but <laughs> nope, it was actually negative two. I just didn't read to know that it was that cold there. At the 
at the time. Yeah, there's gonna be a problem here with these spiders for sure. In the drop chamber. Um, but we have the problem in DC we're not used to. Uh, like, it usually doesn't get this cold in DC. So there's water mains and stuff breaking everywhere. Like, right outside my house, there's a water broken. And that gets, like, really annoying because who knows how long we're going to have water for. But the bigger problem is that we have in our house is it heats at a really uneven level. Right. So I I have it cranked to 72 degrees right now, and it is, like, boiling hot in the bedroom, and it is <laughs> frigid in the living room. Yeah, because all the heat rises, right? Yeah. And, and I, it's I feel terrible. like brick doesn't I, – I don't know if this is true, but I feel like brick is one of those things where, like, it absorbs the cold and brings it in more than, like, wood does. Probably. Um, yeah, there's yeah, quite a few mobs coming now, honestly. All right. Yeah, I'm watching it from the top, and these spiders are definitely causing a problem in the drop chamber. He's just coming right on back up. Hmm. There's not really much we can do with the spiders. Well, I'm wondering if there's a way to push the spider, since there are only one tall, if you can somehow change the water stream so that it kind of angles to the side as well. Mm-hmm. But the spider also get pushed into it. Right. I, I don't know though how you do that. Of course, I just killed one spider and then another one comes flying up the chamber. But yeah, I'm watching these zombies and stuff go through. It seems to be working efficiently. I'm just curious how we can maximize now where they fall in a way to to get their drops and stuff the best way. Yeah, where we need to stand and stuff. And where we need to build a secondary lair in order to make them uh, be killable. I'm going to go grab some trap doors and see if I can raise it a little bit and that they'll still live. They might catch the side of the trap door, though, won't they? Because they actually have That's a real That's what I world. think they'll do is they'll stand on the edge of it, yeah. yeah so I'll have to, I guess we'll do a... A piston thing where you have two pistons on each side that shoot out bricks. How did an Enderman get in here? Is any of the levels three tall? They should not be. There was just an Enderman in here. Uh, where could he have possibly spun? I don't know. I don't think there's there should be any spot that doesn't have water on it. Healing spot that had gotten blown up. Maybe if some of the ceiling got blown up. In one spot. Yeah, but then, even then, if that's the case, spot. he shouldn't be able to get into the water. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, none of the layers are three tall. And they're... Can they, I guess, can Enderman spawn on the spot that has the sign? Oh, yeah. Bet they can. So, yeah, I guess they would be huh. spawning there, huh? That was an oversight. I'm trying to remember how to make a piston here. I'm sure that little book would tell me, but I don't want to read it. <laughs> uh, it's three wood on the top, cobble on each side, and redstone and ironing it. Yeah. I got it. Oh, you know what, though? We're going to have to make this a sticky piston. Yep. It seems like the spiders eventually get pushed through. So what were you saying? We we're have... getting an arctic bomb? <laughs> oh, uh, I, uh, uh, lizard bomb, I think they're calling it. Is that just some shit Wait, they made up? up? I don't know. Possibly. Blizzard bomb. Yeah, I'm... I feel like that's like a dessert. Ship a blizzard bomb from Mystery Potato. That's not what I <laughs> wanted to see. Bomb, so bomb cyclone. That's what they're calling it. A bomb cyclone will bring heavy snow near blizzard for Thursday. For I don't know what this is in. This is specifically. It looks like in uh, uh, Massachusetts. But yeah, bomb cyclone could bring blizzard to Maine. Bomb cyclone to last east coast with polar vortex. <laughs> <laughs> These words. The yeah. East Coast oh yeah, this hit. one looks like. Yeah, this one looks crazy. Like, oh, this you need to see this site. Um, 
I'm on Mother so Jones right now. When I Googled it, that's where I ended up at. Uh, the Washington Post is the one that's got a picture that looks insane. Okay. I need to find... I mean, we need to find that slime chunk. Where was that slime chunk at? Was there a slime chunk? Yeah. Oh, we got three slime balls. Good God. Just three. Um, there was a slime chunk when we were digging down. We, we caught slime somewhere. So somewhere right around our little thing there is a slime chunk. I just don't remember which one it was. Because sadly, we only have three slime balls. And I need four sticky pistons. I almost said, can't you make them out of rice? But then I remember that this is not, that's not vanilla. <laughs> Wait, I'm hitting you on the slime ball. Why is it not telling <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, God, where the hell was that slime chunk? Yeah, it was part of the way we were digging down. Like, Oh no, it was part of that cave that we started exploring. Where did we start exploring that cave from? From this cave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you got in there, though. Yeah, I don't remember how I did either. Bomb I cyclone to blast out, East Coast before polar vortex uncorks. Tremendous cold yep. late this week. That's the that's the headline. You're on the right site now. <sighs> Have you ever heard of this bomb vortex? <laughs> I've never heard of a bomb cyclone from the polar vortex. What fucking dimension are we in? I don't know, but it looks like we're going to die. I mean, this actually looks a little bit better for you. Still pretty bad, but... Yeah, it says, uh, First, a monster storm will hammer coastal locations from Georgia to Maine with ice and snow. By Thursday, the exploding storm will, in many ways, resemble a winter hurricane. Yeah, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? Good old winter hurricanes. <laughs> Forecasters are expecting <laughs> the storm to become a so-called bomb cyclone because its pressure is predicted to fall so fast, an indicator of explosive strengthening. The storm could rank as the most intense over the waters of New England in decades. While blizzard conditions could pace some coastal areas, the most extreme conditions will remain well over the ocean. Well, that's good. Yeah, I mean, that's one good thing out of it. Out of it all. I wonder how much snow we're supposed to get. Well, and that's the weird thing is that when I'm reading it, one article like, very little, but then when they say a blizzard in right? another article, you're like, okay, like, blizzard sounds like a lot. Yeah, I don't know about you, but usually I associate blizzards with a lot of snow. So I've been watching this for a while, and all the spiders get through. They get hung up, but then when other mobs come along, it kind of forces them through. Oh, no, they go up, but they don't go down. I was watching it from the top where the killing drop. Yeah. The mobs are pushing through? Uh, well, they push them through, and then all of a sudden, a couple minutes later, climbing back up. So that's supposed to happen this week, right? Yeah, they said they said late this week, but when we're already at Tuesday night and they're putting this out, what is late this week? Thursday? Right. I mean, that's kind of that's what the article said I was mean, Thursday. But see, I'm looking at my local weather, and there's a zero chance of precipitation any day of this week. Well, let me see. Well, what are you looking at your weather on? Weather.com? Uh, yeah. Let me see what I'm getting out here. An enchanted spider. Enchanted. Whatever. Potioned up. <laughs> that spider. He's enchanting. Like Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday and Thursday night, it's showing just wind with 20% chance of precipitation during the day and 0% at night. Yeah, mine every day of this week, 0% chance of precipitation. And then by Monday, it warms up to. 
52 degrees. Yeah, and we're both clearly in that picture, like getting the outer edges of that thing, but still. Well, you know what they say. The outer edges are fake news. The fake news and global warming. What a myth. <laughs> uh, I love that guy. He's so smart. It is baffling. Baffling, baffling, baffling. What are you doing? Every, every day. I don't know how many times it's like I'm like, how can he say something more stupid? Yeah, I'm trying to find how to get to where that cave was or that slime chunk. I just don't know. I would like to get more. I'm trying to think if I saw any swamps. Oh, I did see a swamp way through the nether. One nether of those swamp? portals takes me to us. A what? I said nether swamp. A nether swamp, yep. It's a good old nether swamp. No, but I mean, there's slime spawn in swamps as well. Yeah. Um, but slime chunks, don't they spawn on the surface too? Or do they have to be in the... No, I think they have to be underground. I think. Uh, I thought. Because couldn't we just go out on the surface and see them? Just like chilling like happy little slimes. Happy little slime. Oh, the happiest of slimes. I should put torches on top of this thing. We were way the hell right? Well, you know how we could get back down there, actually. This is really simple. Come up to the I'm surface, Jeff. I'm on the surface. I just jumped down the center of that mob no, where machine. You I'm right next to you. Oh, come with me. Back to, to this thing. Yeah, we can see our pillar over there. Yeah, we just go down right there, right? Uh, yeah, I just don't remember how how far away we were from the spot where the slime were spawning. Because uh, we <laughs> wrapped the hell through that game to end up... Remember, we ended up way over here from something that opened up originally. Right. Skeleton. I might not make it with you, buddy. Uh, uh, oh, God. Oh, God. It's gonna be the end. It's gonna be the end. There's babies chasing me. There's spiders chasing me. I have one and a half hearts. There's a creeper. Go, 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 go! I made it! Whew. I can't believe I made it. With one zombie flesh to spare. <laughs> oh. oh, there's 39 zombie flesh randomly in a chest right here for me. <laughs> there you go. Why did we have a ch oh, this is where I collected all your stuff. When <laughs> I forgot this is where I shot you. Oh, God, I'm going to fucking die, man. I should have never turned back no, to I, save I, you. I almost died. I, I made it down there with, uh, with uh, a half a heart. Are you... Not making it through. I can't Coming hit back. this motherfucker. No, I'm okay. You, you, you do you. you. You be okay. You live. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I'm down the hole. Where are you at? I'm trying to get back up there to that hole. We should have slept. Probably. Okay. I don't see you. Are you making it? Okay. <laughs> now. The question is, which way would we go? Oh, yeah, we didn't even finish this, did we? No, because we realized when we came back up finally, we realized it was so far away from the mob farm. Right. That it wasn't going to be affecting the spawns over there, so we stopped. Well, the way we came from is across the way there. I don't know how we got over here. How the hell did we get from over there to over here? I don't know. I don't know. I just I came up and shot you in the back over there. Yeah. Oh, the memories. 
It wasn't in this ravine, was it? Did, did we come through the ravine? I mean... Yeah, we lit up that ravine. No, it was, it was really shortly just outside of the, uh, the mob spawner. Okay. Well, this when way, I came down, I broke here. into that little place that had the lava, and then it turned out to be a cave that led to all this stuff eventually. Yeah. It was very shortly by the mob spawner. So somebody even made a comment that we should incorporate it somehow into the mob spawner, the slime mm. chunk, and I hadn't thought about it until afterwards. Let's see how good your definition or your recollection. Ah, <laughs> I didn't even see you, man. <laughs> I just heard you turn around, and you were in my face. Yeah, it's been it's been a little while. I don't remember how we how we got where we got. This is a big I mean, cave. This seems promising. Uh, not this way. That's a dead end. Like, I felt yeah, like we'll we... have to see when we were. Yeah. I feel like we dropped down. We'll have to see when we record on Thursday if we're all stuck in a bomb cyclone. Uh, <laughs> vortexes. Uh, okay, I looped through somewhere that dead ended. Never mind. Uh, here's where we got that gold at. I remember this. How did we get from here? I think it's this way. I don't even know where you went anymore. I was kind of split off. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, I see you. Yeah, it's like it's hey, somewhere near here. He's got a shovel. <laughs> he sure does. <laughs> <laughs> he really liked that shovel. He had an enchanted. Uh, up there was gold, I remember. <laughs> I remember random things like, Oh, that was a piece of redstone here. And, that's a dead uh, end. A lapis block over here. Because that's where I dropped gold on your head. That's the only reason why I really remember it. Because <clears throat> you were like, oh, well, Little tinkle of gold, and I was like, "Yeah, I just found gold too." And you were like, "Yeah, no, it dropped on my head." Oh uh, yeah, I, I I do remember what you're talking about now. Yeah, that was like right here, but I don't know how we got from here to home. It must be this way. Yeah, there is so much unlit in this cave still. There really is. I don't know which where which way you just went. It's a dead end, anyways. I don't actually know, man. I really don't know how we how we got into this cave. Yeah, it was just a long process of looping through more cave, more cave, more cave. Oh, there was lava here. That's why this isn't lit up. Okay. Yeah, you took the lava out. So it is right around here. Somewhere right around here is where we came in at. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't feel like we went that far. Here we go. I don't know if I just went Maybe. backwards or what. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here. This is it, Jeff. This is where we came in at. In fact, I hear a mob spawn. Like you're saying right here, but I'm nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I know, here. but... <clears throat> right here, right here, right here. It's right here, here Jeff, you right see here. That? See, 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 it? Right see it right here? Look at it. Just look right at it. Um, uh, I gotta figure out... All right, come back to the big I room. Even... <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. I just kept going. I came down. Oh, I see your name tag. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay, so we came in. Down here? Right here is where we entered the cave. This is where it all began. You can hear so them. this is under the mob spawner. Yeah, right here through this wall, I guess, is the mob spawner. What? Really? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> uh, I'm going to mark this wall. Uh, here we go. Um, I'll, put okay. a, I'll put a sign down that says. So, so we came here, and we must have looped around here, and then there was slime around the corner? Now I have to rewatch the video, because I remember it being more expansive right when we came in. Oh, here was that well, this lava. Over here is the big expansive room. And maybe this is where they were at? I don't know. Yeah, this is possible. this huge room. A lot of dark zones in it still. Yeah. This guy also had... This is this is like the Enchanted Shovel Club. 
<laughs> it's the trolls, man. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> wow. I was like, I'll just back up from him and then I bumped into you. I think the reason why so much of this is unlit is I didn't have any torches, I remember. And all I had was a silk touch pick, so I couldn't get coal. Uh, that's right. Because I definitely mined up here. Like, there was a second set of gold right up here where we're at right now. Wow. He, like, turned his attack from you to me in the midair. That guy's not a happy guy. So where are these goddamn slimes? I need you, slimes. I bet Wait, we'll have to unlight I, it. I just heard one. Thought I heard one. Does it say anywhere? Like on the F3 oh, I window? No idea. I have no idea. I know there used to be a whole thing like you could figure out where all the slime chunks were by importing the seed into some program and it would tell you which seeds were or which, which ones were algorithmically a lot, uh, slime chunk but we don't even have seed information anymore. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Yeah, I, remember what, I have no idea what the seed even is. Yeah, well, you said, you, that was back when you could look at like F3 and it showed you the seed. Oh, right. Um, so yeah, I guess I... I guess I don't know. Well, we got back to the room, at least. I just got to figure out, look back at the video and see. Yeah. And I guess we could un we could unlight it and see what happens. But yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure before we do that that this is actually where I right. was thinking it was. Now the question is, how do we get back to that? Because I think if we dig a stairwell up from right next to the spawner, it'll be a lot easier. For one, we'll have to come back down here. and try Right. Anyway. Right. All right, well, we're out of time for today, so I guess we'll we'll watch the video back and figure out where we need to find our slimes. All right, guys, we'll see you. Bye.